An in-depth conversation includes talking about the need for addressing the transition of aged children, as we use the term aging out of the system. And um, Marcy, you have three very keen goals that I think are so important to what you are attempting to do. Yeah. So our three pillars are being safe, loving, and productive. So safe meaning we need to get these young adults out of the hands of potential traffickers. Um, foster kids are the most trafficked population. Mm -hmm. So we need to make sure that they're safe safe from abuse, safe from drugs, all of these things. Um, loved, this is exactly why we're planting house parents in this home. They will be there full time, all the time. And their job will be to lovingly walk next to these young adults so that they can feel loved, not barked at, not told mm -hmm. what to do. They're adults now. So we're gonna walk next to them to help them understand the life skills that they need to be able to be successful and productive because this is a learning environment. It's a loving environment, but it's a learning environment Absolutely. as well. For you, that's also the challenge for both you and your husband as house parents mm -hmm. uh, in a loving environment, establishing that for these young adults who are saying, look, I'm grown, I don't need anybody to tell me what, I mean, as parents, you know, we've experienced right. that with our own children. You know, I'm grown, you can't tell me what to do. However, there's a system out there and a, an area in our community that is not healthy or safe for an individual of that age with that attitude. Mm -hmm. So what happens if they come back into the system? Do you allow that? We will look at that at an individual basis, definitely. But um, I believe in redemption. I believe in forgiveness. Um, and there comes a time where you have to be able to, it's important to be able to walk with them. I think you ladies have really given the community and me an idea of who you are, what you do, and why you do it. I want to thank you for joining us as well as we have talked in depth about Moab House and the need to provide services for children that are aging out of our system. Again, I'm Dee Crawford, Community Affairs Director, WKBN. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.